Welcome to Client Assist 2.0 Training. This is a basic navigation introduction. The information found within this training may not apply to all users. User access will depend on the subscription. SIS 2.0 must be open within Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, or Firefox to operate properly. The topics we will cover are header icons, navigate and search, search results, refined by product, product configuration, parts tab, parts detail page, systems and components, shopping cart, and additional contact information for support and for further training. The first topic we will discuss is header icons. The first icon is the cat logo at the top of the left of any page. This icon will return you to the home page. The next icon, the globe icon, allows you to change language that the interface will display in. Next is the newspaper icon. This icon shows the last seven days of updates to SIS 2.0. The available media will depend on your subscription. Next, we have the chain link icon. This houses links to external applications whose data are not directly integrated into SIS 2.0. Next is the shopping cart icon. This icon opens the shopping cart. Last, we have your username. By clicking on the username, this will open an additional menu with links to more information about the system. Next, we will discuss navigate and search. To start off, we will discuss the three tabs at the center of the page. The first tab, announcements. Here you will see the newest information regarding SIS 2.0 releases, links to training videos, and other information the Caterpillar SIS 2.0 team wants to bring to your attention. The next tab is external links. Here you will have access to all CAT affiliate links such as TMI Web, CAT branded telehandlers, and SimsI. Access to information will depend on subscription. The next tab is coming soon. Here we'll show you what features are currently in development within the SIS 2.0 team. In addition, it also shows the current release to SIS 2.0 and what is in SIS 2.0 based on previous releases. Entering a prefix or serial number and clicking the navigate button allows users to quickly access the product structure and document structure for a specific product. The prefix and serial number field uses auto-suggest helping users who are unsure of their prefix and is displayed after typing two characters. For example, start typing the word excavator and a list of products will be displayed. Top hits are matches to existing prefixes. Autosuggest also works with model numbers and model names such as 793. Results are listed in alphabetical order. By clicking on the prefix or serial number field, the user will be able to view their machine equipment lists. Clients' machines can be searched by typing their equipment number into the prefix and serial number field. The auto-suggest feature is also available for this task. You can perform a search for all available information for a specific product by entering a prefix or serial number and clicking search. To narrow your search results from the start, you can also add a part number or keyword and then click search. SIS 2.0 also allows users to perform searches by entering a part number or keyword without a prefix or serial number and clicking search. Next, we will discuss search results. The search results page is primarily made up of two sections, the results for your search 
and filtering options in the left-hand navigation. When a search is performed, the results per page and the total number of results is shown on the left of the result header. On the right of the result header, the user can change the number of results per page from 25 to 200. Also shown is the total number of pages. Navigation through each page can be accomplished by using the arrow tabs. If you include a full serial number, the as maintained product configuration will be the top result if it is available. By clicking on the product configuration tab, the user will be directed to the as maintained machine breakdown. By default, results are ordered by most relevant. You can cycle through the sort order by clicking on the calendar icon at the top of the search results. Besides most relevant, you can change the sort order to newest first or oldest first. Quick filters are also available if you wish to only view parts results or service results. Click the gear icon to filter your search to only parts results. Click the page icon to filter your search to only service article results. Information under this icon may be restricted depending on a subscription. Click the book icon to filter your search to only service publication results. Once again, information under this icon may be restricted depending on subscription. Other filtering options include date, information types, systems, and SMCS codes. The filters found under each option vary depending on what information is available for each search. The number of filters that can be applied is not limited. Once filters have been selected, simply click any of the apply tabs. To delete filters, simply deselect any filter and click the apply tab, or click the clear all tab in the left-hand navigation header. Each filter option displays a number of results for that option in parentheses to the right. Parts results include separate illustrations of the graphics. You can toggle individual separate illustrations on by clicking the thumbnail icon or toggle the thumbnail icon in the toolbar to preview all separate illustrations. Parts results include separate illustrations of the parts graphics. You can toggle the separate illustration on for a single result by clicking the thumbnail icon. Clicking the separate illustration will toggle it off. You can toggle the separate illustration on or off for all parts results by clicking the thumbnail icon. Next, we will discuss refined by product. When you perform a search without context, meaning you did not include a prefix or serial number, the refined by product feature will be available to assist in narrowing your results. Click the gray header bar below the header to narrow your results based on your product family. After the page refreshes, you will have the option to narrow your results even further by selecting a machine model. Once a machine model is selected, you will have the option of selecting a serial number prefix in the left-hand navigation. Next, we will discuss product configuration. The product configuration page displays an as-maintained breakdown of parts included on your product if it's available. You can get to this page by clicking the product configuration results at the top of the search results or from the home page by entering a full serial number and clicking the navigate button. Links to external systems such as PIP, PSP, SIMSI, and TMI are also located on the product configuration page. Authored parts are also hyperlinked in blue for easy navigation. Next, we will discuss the Parts tab. The Parts tab displays a list of systems and components included on the product and is similar to the product structure view in SysWeb. If multiple configurations are available for your product, you can switch between them using the drop-down just above the systems and components. When switching to a different configuration, 
the systems and components list will update to reflect that change. By default, this will be set to all configurations and a combination of all systems and components for all available configurations will be displayed. Next, we will discuss the parts detail page. Clicking on a part result from the search results page will take you to the parts detail page. This page includes the parts graphic if one is available and the contents of the group is displayed under the individual parts tab. The left-hand navigation will highlight the part you are currently viewing under the systems and component it belongs to. Click the print icon at the top right to print a physical copy or save as a PDF. Clicking the I button to the right of any part will display additional information about the part. This includes NPR, SMCS codes, and relevant page details. This is available both at the group level and at the part level. The I button is also available for group level parts returned and search results. In addition, NPR information for another part can be looked up on this page by typing the new part number into the part number field at the top of the screen. You can navigate up the product structure by clicking hyperlink part numbers in the entire group section. If additional content for parts exist, those part numbers will be hyperlinked in blue and allow you to drill another level deeper into the structure. The alternates button will display when reman yellow mark or kit information is available. Kits that are available will be listed under the options tab. The service articles tab contains a list of hyperlinked service information related to your current part search. Information found under this tab will depend on your subscription. The where used tab contains a hyperlinked list of all other products that use the arrangement, group, or part number that is currently being searched. Next, we will discuss systems and components. In some cases, the part you selected will belong to multiple systems or components on the same product. When this happens, a modal will be displayed asking you to select what context you would like to view the part in. No matter what option you choose, you will be shown the same part. The only difference is where the part is located within the systems and components section of the left-hand navigation. The first option here will take you to the electronic control group. The second option here will take you to the engine electronics group. The third option here will take you to the implement electronics control group and so on. Next, we will discuss the shopping cart. Parts quantities can be adjusted and added to the shopping cart individually, or you can click the add all button to add all the parts to the shopping cart. The shopping cart is broken up into two tabs. The cart tab is your active parts list. The My List tab is a collection of previously saved parts lists that can quickly be added to the shopping cart. Sys 2.0 will give your parts list a default order ID. You can change this as well as add a work order, segment, or operational code before saving. You can add a note to the entire parts list or to an individual part. To remove a part, click the X to the left of any part. You can click delete all to remove all parts from the active list. You can also add a part to the list by clicking on the add part button. If you added a part to the shopping cart from a specific prefix or serial number, that information will be displayed in the serial number column. Part numbers and group numbers are hyperlinked to give you a quick way to return to the parts detail page. You can print a physical copy or save a PDF version of your shopping cart by clicking the print icon at the top right of the page. 
To export the shopping cart as an XML or a CSV file, click the export button and choose the format. If you have previously downloaded parts list to your desktop, you can upload it by clicking the import button. Click the save my list button to save your current parts list to the my list tab. This will clear your shopping cart. You can delete a saved list by clicking the X button on the left of the order ID. To preview a list, click the hyperlinked order ID. You can add or remove parts directly from here. You can also add the entire list of the shopping cart without previewing the list by clicking the add all button at the right of any list. This concludes our tutorial. Hope you found the information helpful. For additional questions regarding SIS 2.0, please contact Susie Williamson at 480-633-4304 or email at susie.williamson at empire-cat.com. For additional training in regards to SIS 2.0, contact the Empire Training Institute at 480-633-4363 or email at eti at empire-cat.com. Thank you and have a great day.